Brewer Feed is here in front of General Motors. Yep, that's right, we're in Detroit, Michigan. Let's go check them out and see if they know how to brew strong and feed well. The Chevrolet Forge plant of Detroit is the best equipped in the world. Detroit today stands at the threshold of a bright new future. Once America's fourth largest city, Detroit, now a stunning $18 billion in debt, clinging to its reputation as the world's motor city. Detroit, Michigan, Motown, the Motor City. One nickname Detroit will never get is Quitter. Brewing Feed visited the legendary city of Detroit, Michigan. Come take a trip with us. Okay, we made it over to Batch Brewing Company. We're gonna check them out and see if they know how to brew strong. Batch Brewing Company opened its doors in February of 2015 in the historic Corktown district. Corktown was settled by Irish people from country Cork, Ireland, who were fleeing the great Irish potato famine of the 1840s. Batch Brewing is doing a great job and they are our favorite kind of brewery because they also serve food. Okay, Atwater Brewery is our next stop. They're right behind me. Let's go check them out. Their tagline is brewed in Detroit. So let's go see if they know how to brew strong. Atwater Brewing opened for business in 1997 with aspirations of brewing bohemian style lager like Stroh's Brewing Company. The brewery changed hands in 2005 when Mark Reef purchased it and changed its focus to new age craft beers. While Atwater still brews German style lagers, you can get a mango wit, New England IPA, vanilla java porter, and even a pumpkin spice latte ale. Atwater Brewing also has a kitchen and you know how we feel about that. If you're in Detroit, stop by Atwater and have a flight of beers, you won't be disappointed. Alright, we're here at Motor City Brewing Works. Let's go check them out and see if their brew game is strong. Motor City Brewing began operations in 1994. It's small and quaint, which gives it a homey kind of feel, like visiting a friend's house. Their warm atmosphere, brew pub format and baked, not fried wings endeared them to us on our short visit. All right, we made it here to Jolly Pumpkin. Jolly Pumpkin is legendary for their sour beers, so we're gonna check those out. They're right across the street from Motor City Brewing Company, which we went to, and it's an amazing brewery too. They also have food here. They got pizza here at Jolly Pumpkin. So we're gonna check them out and see if they know how to brew strong and feed well. Really, truck? <laughs> Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales was founded in 2004 by brewer, craftsman, artist, and philosopher Ron Jeffries. All those titles make sense when you visit Jolly Pumpkin and admire the decor and taste the beers. All of Jolly Pumpkin's beers are Oak Age Farmhouse or American Wild Ale Brews. Jolly Pumpkin has locations in Dexter, Ann Arbor, Detroit, Grand Rapids, and Travis City, Michigan, and in the Hyde Park neighborhood in Chicago, Illinois. Brewing Feed is here at Parker's Hilltop Brewery in Spirits. They got beer and they got food. So let's go check them out and see if they know how to brew strong and feed well. We decided to visit some of the breweries outside of the city, so we made our way up north to check out the Brewing Feed scene there. Our first stop was a wonderful brew pub called Parker's Hilltop Brewery in Clarkson, Michigan. The brew pub is equipped with an adult game room and a fully appointed brew house. We didn't get a chance to taste their food, but their beers were outstanding. Okay, our next stop is Rustic Leaf Brewery in Waterford Township, Michigan. It's a small community brewery in a strip mall, so let's go check them out and see if they know how to brew strong. Brewing Feed ventured over to Waterford, Michigan to check out Rustic Leaf Brewing, which is in a neighborhood strip mall. 
This Nano Brewery is well manicured with its farmhouse look and feel. It's like synergy, like the hardest teacher y'all can ever Rustic Leaf Brewing opened their doors in 2016, and based on what we saw, they're gonna grow up to be somebody. Next stop, Pontiac, Michigan. Okay, we're here at Fillmore 13 Brewery in Pontiac, Michigan. Let's go check them out and see if they know how to brew strong. Fillmore 13 Brewery was opened in March 2017 by Lee Rumaya, who's a 30-year veteran of the beer industry. Their beer is amazing and they know how to feed well too. The menu is too extensive to review in this video, but feast your eyes on what we had. Okay, last stop for the night is X Fermentation Brewing Company. It's right next door to the Fillmore 13 Brewery in downtown Pontiac, Michigan. Let's go check them out and see if they know how to brew strong. Three, two, one, game begin. X Fermentation Brewing opened in August of 2016 with the vision of creating experimental craft beers and delicious bar food. There are no ordinary beers here, so get your mind right before you visit. You'll have fun drinking beers like Hibiscus Wheat Ale, Toasted Coconut Cream Ale, Pineapple Rhubarb Wheat Beer, and a Smoke Light Ale with coffee. Andy Stamper, Eric Benton, and Scott Balton are the owners of X Fermentation Brewing. Their philosophy is to treat their customers and employees the way they would want to be treated while making a positive impact in their community and making beer that people love. To cap off our trip to Detroit, Michigan, we visited the historic Easter Market District. Everything I do is fine, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 foreign. The Eastern Market District traces its roots back to 1850. Back then, the area was devoted to hay and wood sellers. In 1891, sales sheds were built and a farmer's market that once resided in Cadillac Square was relocated to the Eastern Market District. The Eastern Market now spans 43 acres and is the largest historic public market district in the United States. The district is adorned with artistic motifs and graffiti reminiscent of the Miami Windwoods Arts District which is featured in our 2018 Miami Brewing Feed Review. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me I can't. Daily I've been going, moving right past all these lanes. I just saw this sat and waited patiently, yeah. I just I just gave them what they can't see, yeah. I've been, I've been moving with We weren't fortunate enough to be there on the weekends when the Eastern Market was open, but hopefully in the near future we'll get to go and see if they know how to feed well. We're here in the Eastern Market District at Eastern Market Brewing Company. With a name like Eastern Market Brewing Company, they better be able to brew strong and feed well. So let's go check them out. Eastern Market Brewing opened in October of 2017. The brewery is nestled in the Eastern Market District on Real Pell Street. The owners had the vision of brewing with local ingredients to support the Eastern Market's vendors and local businesses. Their logo is an elephant because the elephant is smart, social, and communal like a good craft brewery should be. Their brews are very well brewed and it's no wonder. The head brewer spent time brewing at Bell's Brewing and Atwater Brewing. Completing our brewing feed review in the Eastern Market District was quite the treat. This concludes our brewing feed review of Detroit, Michigan, the Motor City, Motown. Brew strong and feed well. <laughs>